The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series is proudly presented by Varsity College and First National Bank. Welcome back to the Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series. On our last episode, we saw some amazing racing from both the men and the women's paddlers with some standout performances. Hank McGregor and Matt Bowman both sit on two wins apiece with five races to go. And the ladies series is the closest it's ever been. As we head into the second half of the Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series, the racing is about to kick into high gear. Only five races left. Racing is going to be extremely tight with the high competition between our top paddlers in the men's and ladies categories. The series has seen a massive growth in recent years. With the invaluable support from sponsor Varsity College, this year saw a new chapter being written, with First National Bank joining the family and pledging their support for the future of paddling. The Friday night paddle is, is, is a great kickoff for the weekend. You bring the family and the boys down, they can have a boogie board or a surf, carry the boats up and then we have a drink afterwards and you go home. What makes the Marine Series attractive for us being over nine weeks, you get time to build a relationship with your clients and prospect clients that might want to come across. So this gives us the opportunity to build relationships with the people uh, taking part in the event and supporting the event. Coming down on a Friday night paddling, uh, dicing your mates from the office, there's no better way to start a weekend. Race 6 would see serious ocean conditions with a strong northeaster that had brought with it some large swell prompting organisers to have a deep water start. But this certainly wouldn't deflect paddlers enthusiasm who took the conditions by the horns. With the second half of the series, we're now getting into the meat of the competition, where points in the overall standings become very important. So far in the series, we have had two specific winners in the men's. Hank McGregor has two race wins, as well as Matt Bowman with two wins. So the series right now is completely open and anyone's game. And the next few races will see these two amazing athletes locking horns as they vie for that overall title. With conditions being so testing today, it wasn't without its dramas. Hank McGregor taking a rogue wave on the head and swimming, allowing Wade Cricker a chance at his first win with Barry Lewin and Gene Prato not far back. Also looking to pounce on a victory in these conditions. The ladies race was as tight as ever, as Michelle Byrne led the ladies charge, showing that experience counted here today, as she held off a strong challenge from Jenna Ward.
In the end, McGregor recovered well and took the race to the final downwind stretch, holding off a stellar performance from Cricker. Both paddlers loving the amazing runs on offer. Yeah, today the conditions were uh, extremely tough. Uh, we had sort of waves breaking everywhere. Just what a hectic way to uh, start a weekend, a Friday night uh, Surski race here at the Varsity College FNB Surski Series. Uh, we'll see who's on its head, huge northeast with big uh, waves. It's uh, going to be super exciting racing going forward and uh, yeah, I think everyone that got through the course today is thankful to be back on uh, land. The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series prides itself in being both a development platform for aspiring paddlers as well as a community support mechanism. Now in its second year of involvement with the Letty Paddle Cancer Foundation, it plays its part in bringing awareness to this worthy cause. Letty Paddle came about when I decided to paddle from Richards Bay to Durban and dedicated to my dear friend Nikki Haynes who was fighting cancer. So the goal of the Letty Paddle is to find heroes out there and inspire them to keep fighting and to bring our community together and show love and support for one another. It's more than just raising money, it's about coming together as a community to lean on one another, to show love and support and really make a difference. If we can do what we love and make a difference doing it, then that's what really matters. The paddling community is very tightly knit, so to be able to come together and show our love and support for one of our own, Dave Batchelor, is a beautiful thing to be a part of. We are so inspired by your strength, will and determination. We believe in you, Batch. 2014 was incredible. It was our first year with the Varsity College FNB series. And this year we were blessed with the most perfect day and people came down dressed in pink, dyed their hair pink and dedicated their paddles to all the heroes out there fighting cancer. It was bigger and better and more than I could ever have hoped that it would be. I was given the opportunity to bring Letty Paddle into the Varsity College FNB series, which was such a blessing because I've grown up paddling and the people in the paddling community really are one of a kind. It's, it's more of a family, so, and I know everyone has good hearts and they want to make a difference and sometimes it takes one person to bring them together to really encourage them to make that difference. The future of Letty Paddle is about finding heroes out there who just need a little bit of support and just to let them know how much people do believe in them. Cancer can be beaten, so let's come together and make a difference. Great field tonight. Darwin Mocky came all the way up from uh, Cape Town. Four times World Series champion. Graced us with his presence here and uh, first uh, Marine Series race for him. And yeah, Matthew Bowman was back. Uh, Grant van der Vault, uh, Wade Cricker. Fantastic field assembled. Listen. Very benign conditions here today, making it a very honest paddle. But that didn't mean the racing was any less serious. And Matt Bowman, David Mocker and Wade Cricker were pushing Hank McGregor with every stroke. Just race 7 has been such an amazing experience down here on the beach at Marine Surf Life Saving Club for the Letty Paddle Surski Challenge. Uh, we've had a great race, uh, some amazing conditions with very little wind or waves. Uh, Hank McGregor showed his uh, class in an amazing field as well. First lap I managed to just uh, maintain the pace with the other guys and then started pushing the pace uh, into the wind on the end of the first lap, managed to get away and then just had a storm of a second lap and uh, yeah, happy to come home with my fourth win in a row and um, looking strong for the series. One more race and I've uh, got it in the bag but it's not over yet. Everyone was paddling for a cause and yeah, I just managed to dig deep and pull it off when it counted. It was honest, flat, not many runs, but it's yeah, it's fun to be out there and racing again. I love this. With just three races to go, the series title race was about to reach a turning point, and race eight greeted paddlers with pristine ocean conditions and light westerly winds. 
The weather's present itself such an amazing day here in Durban. For a surf ski race on a Friday evening, we've got a light southwesterly wind blowing, really flat sea and almost no waves to talk of. Tonight is the RT Work Surf Ski Challenge. After race seven, the men's competition saw just two contenders still in the hunt, with Hank McGregor on four wins and Matthew Bowman on two, and needing to win this one to stay in the race. The first lap would see Bowman go out hard, and putting some water between himself and McGregor and going all in with his attempt at a stay of execution. The ladies would see a full field with all the title contenders on the water today. After race seven, Jenna Ward leads the title race with three wins. Moving into the second lap, McGregor made his move, making up the distance lost in lap one and drawing level with Bowman, coming to the downwind section. But Bowman was fighting hard and wouldn't let the title slip out his grasp so easily. Taking a deeper line, he set himself the task of doing what few have been able to do this season. But would it be enough? With two kilometers to go, McGregor found another gear, dropping the rest of the field and setting himself up for his fifth race win. And with that, the series title. Had a fantastic race, so I was a ding-dong battle with Matt Bowman for the first lap, and then I managed to uh, get away um, to a slight lead just before the final turn into the wind and pushed the pace quite hard and managed to open up uh, enough of a gap to, to take my fifth, fifth win. And I think that seals the deal for the, the series. Um, so yeah, really happy to, to come off with a win five races in a row and then I managed to win and against a top class field. What can I say, I had a fantastic Friday afternoon. The ladies race saw Nicole Russell taking her second win in a row. And with Jenna Ward taking second and already on three wins, the title race is reaching a critical point in the series and with just two races to go. The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series prides itself in being a vehicle for up-and-coming talent. This season has seen the emergence of young paddling talent Kaita Purchase, who's made her way up from the junior ranks to challenge in 2015 for the series title. I've been paddling for a year and a half. I was a swimmer from when I was young and I'd been doing life saving for a while and decided I wanted to go for life saving. I love paddling mainly because it's outdoors. I like to win. It's, I think everybody says it, but I like to win. This year I've decided to focus on paddling. My main aim is canoeing and I train in my canoe every day but I think the added by turf ski is it's always different. You always have to fight till the end. It's not like canoeing, okay, you can get away but if you get a pull you most likely keep the pull. Here anything can happen, like Michelle Byrne can go and catch runs, she can catch up because I know she's very good at catching runs. The ladies racing has been really, really tough because I know we all push each other because we're all sitting at that same level at the moment. So we all train just as hard, so we push each other to just get better times, get better in the surf ski. And it's all paid off, starting to see results in the surf ski races. And it's, I've caught up and it gives me a lot more confidence. And this just adds to my, okay, I can do it, I'm going to be there. My goals for paddling in general this year is that first it was a surf ski series. I just wanted to do well or get top three in women. And I managed that. I want to try and make the team to go to Tahiti. And then my main goal for the, well my long term goal, even though it's only at the end of the year, is hungry for marathon paddling. I want to go and hopefully I want to go and win world champs. That's 
what I want to do, I want to go and win, I want to get my name up there and I want to be known that I've won and I've been the best girls in the world. We will certainly watch this space. The penultimate race of the series brought sublime ocean conditions. Almost no wind to speak of and very small swells saw organisers changing up the normal race course. We've got some of the best conditions the, the series has seen so far in the 2015 season with super, super flat uh, seas. We're going to change the course up tonight and do something completely different. The guys are going to go in and out straight out to sea instead of a diagonal course. Uh, should be something new for a lot of the paddlers coming to do the series and looking forward to an awesome Friday night hit out creaking towards the end of the season. So some really big points up for grabs and really exciting racing to come. With the men's title already decided, focus shifted to the ladies. 2015 has seen the closest ladies racing ever with Jenna Ward, Kaita Purchase, Michelle Byrne and Nicole Russell trading podium positions each week. The out and back course would make the racing a lot closer today and Jenna Ward and Nicole Russell took to the lead right away. Jenna just needs a second place here today to seal the deal and take the title. With already three wins and a second, and with athletes needing to complete six of the ten races to qualify, today would just be a formality for Jenna. This season has also seen the junior men rise to the challenge, and Bailey de Fondemur and Luke Kritikos were proving that hard work really does pay off, placing consistently in the top five in the seniors this season. As the men went through the motions, the ladies' affair was a two-horse race. Nicole Russell making Ward work for that series title with every stroke. Brilliant course tonight. I think they set us a fun course. Um, Perfectly, perfect decision to sort of go out and back because a couple of runs coming back and made for interesting racing. Yeah, it was pretty hard with um, with Wayne Wilson and uh, Zig Haynes. Uh, they sort of led out. They actually did most of the work. And uh, yeah, luckily that last uh, turn coming back, we um, we had a little extra run in there. But yeah, very close racing time. Very cool. So the penultimate race sees Nicole Russell take her third win. But that won't be enough as Jenna Ward claims second and the 2015 ladies title, with three wins and two second places. The final race of the series plays host to the Varsity College SA School Surf Ski Champs, and paddlers from Cape Town, PE and East London converged on Durban. Varsity College has played a major role in the development of both paddling and the education of our youth since their involvement six years ago. And they cement their commitment with the prize of a full bursary to Varsity College and the Sports Life program for the winner of the SA School Surf Ski Champs. It should be quite tough. I'm going to try to win my age group. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty nervous this year. There's some wind. I'm happy it's not completely flat. I'm hoping for a good race. I'm hoping for a nice slip out to the first boy, turn the boy on these nice conditions and just smash it in the downwind section. Uh, yo, it's just going to be like a 8k sprint really. Eh? I want to win, it's, no doubt everybody wants to win, but I'm just hoping to have a good race, no hiccups, just go out there and try my best. Just flat out, eh? just try and get onto the front bunch and work it from there. Lights are red and there's sweat on your
a bundle of nerves on the line as the school's race hits the water and immediately settle into the diamond. Didn't have the best start. Luke managed to get in the front, pulled for most of the first section up to the first can. Made sure I was at the front for the first turn and just try to build on that lead from there. Once we turned that can, the side swell seemed to pick up immediately and the runs were actually quite big coming from the side. The under 18 settle into a small group, with Mark Keeling from Cape Town pulling the local boys. And as soon as we turned, turned the bottom count, Mark pulled away a bit. And by then, Bailey had caught us. I was just mainly thinking just get to the front bunch and stay on the wave and just stick with the front guys as long as I could. The girls racing was just as fierce. Kaita purchased putting all the experience earned in the previous nine races here to good use storming to a commanding lead on lap one. Pulled the whole way up again to the downwind section. I was pretty comfortable, it was a relaxing pace and, and Mark's pulling. We pull all the way up to the top can and I know that it's, this is where the race starts. It's Keeling, Kritikos and Bailey, one, two, three, with the tall figure of Josh Fenn not far back and leading the under-16 race. The doubles caught us and that actually broke all three of us up. By then I knew what I was going to do, stay in front and go hard. It was sort of me and Luke neck and neck and I managed to catch up to Mark towards the end. The final turn boy now and Mark Keeling and Bailey de Fondemur have pulled ahead. And with the finish in sight, now they both kick into high gear. Keeling pulls ahead but loses the run, giving Bailey another chance with only 200 metres to go. I caught up to him and then we were on the same wave. Bailey just managed to catch the wave with me and sprint up the beach past me. I'm stoked to uh, won this race. I'm shocked that I was so close and it was amazing. Superb racing from these young athletes. Spare a thought for Keeling who led most of the way. But what a great finish from the young Durbanite on his home turf. With the sun setting on this amazing racing here today, a new school's champion emerges. Bailey de Fondemur narrowly edging out Mark Keeling for the title. Luke Kritikos a great race too for third. The girls wasn't a surprise. Kaita Purchase storming to her first SA Schools title and ticking one more item off her list of paddling goals. The under 16 saw a stellar performance from Josh Fenn, holding the lead for the whole race and managing to fight off a late challenge from William Wood. The senior men's series this year was the best racing scene to date. A flawless performance from Hank McGregor saw him wrestle the title away from Matt Bowman and a stellar performance from Wade Krieger placing top three in almost every race. But 2015 it could be said was the year of the ladies. Four different winners and going right down to the wire in the ninth race. It also saw the emergence of new talent Kaita Purchase who has come through the schools and development ranks to now challenge at the top level.
So that brings the curtain down on another amazing summer surf ski season. Next up, we move into the winter series with loads more action to come. We'll see you then. The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series is proudly brought to you by Varsity College and First National Bank. 